Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here, and today we have something a little bit different, a rather unusual M2 docking station that I thought maybe we could try out using my old 256 gigabyte uh, SSD that I pulled out of my Steam Deck over here. And I also have a full size uh, one terabyte unit here, and we'll try that out as well. We'll do some speed tests on the Steam Deck. You would probably want to use this if you wanted to install a new SSD into your Steam Deck and then back up this card, your old one, onto the new guy. So there's a whole bunch of ways we could do this, but we're really just going to be interested in specking this little guy out, seeing what it looks like, how fast it is, all that good stuff. So here we go. Back of the box. Nothing too exciting. Let's take a look. Okay. Simple manual. It's a little tiny guy. There it is. We do get a cable with it, which is great. That also doubles. That's fantastic. I like that they included that. I happen to have one right here if we needed it, but I guess we won't. And then kind of the nice little casing. So let's take a look at this guy, shall we? So this, as you can see, uh, will fit just about any sort of drive you might have uh, to put in here. Here are all the ones that it supports. I'll just give you a quick moment to look at that. So it supports pretty much anything and everything. Very cool. So there's not much to see here, right? We have a power switch. We have a Type-C connector. We have the plug, a little uh, a, an LED at the top, a little rubberized feet. That's kind of it. There's really not much to see here. All right, so if we take a look here, uh, we can see that this will just plug right on in. Right, that's it. There's no tools. There's nothing to take apart. It's just sort of like a desktop little docking station that you can pop these drives into. And uh, eventually, <laughs> I think we'll end up having a few of these laying around between the Ally and the Steam Deck and everything else. Too cool. All right, and a little power button, all as well. So I think what we really just need to do here is to plug it in and make sure that it works. Now, I could do this a couple of different ways. I could plug this uh, into this docking station here. We can do a drive test there. I've also got, I believe I put Windows on this drive, so we can boot Windows from here and see how fast it is. That might be a good test. Uh, we can do that with and without the docking station. You guys really want to see... Uh, the speed tests on this against it on the Steam Deck, and we're going to do that. We're just going to do a basic test. We're going to go ahead and just plug this guy, kind of short on the cabling here. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. I don't think it really matters if it just dangles here. I think it'll be fine. Get the deck up here. We're going to go ahead and flip over to desktop mode, and then I'm going to go ahead and power this thing up. There's no external power required, which is great. There's no enclosure. There's no screws. There's no, there's no nothing. Now, what you may end up having, a because it's open and it's open aired, it should take care of cooling. You might want to consider possibly um, an external type cooling pad of some sort. Um, they definitely say don't hot swap it. Don't exchange the SSDs when the dock is powered on or connected. Um, there's a handful of warnings here. And uh, I think we'll be heating all of those. And I'm guessing that it's going to be very, very hot. So we're not going to want to touch this thing once we got it going. So let's go ahead and turn it on. We have a small blue LED. And it definitely came up. Yep, see, it's a Windows drive. It's kind of nice, too, is that LED, once you lose power and everything completely shuts down, that LED will go off, meaning that it's actually safe to pull this out or do whatever. It's very easy to uh, not have Windows be finished, um, and it looks like it's done, but it's not. So we're gonna go ahead and do our Windows power up again. And you'll notice, of course, that this does not restore power. You'll have to hit the power button again. That that's, could be a negative to some people, so we'll tap the power button, and in a moment it'll come up as a drive, perfect. And let's see what we're talking about here. 18 to 20 seconds for um, Windows boots, pretty good, I would think. So let's check this out. So I, I counted about uh, 16, 17 seconds. So this thing booted up like a champ. Good stuff. So this would definitely be suitable for a Windows dual boot type scenario. 
you know, put a little Velcro on the back of this, staple it to the back if you would with some Velcro, and you could uh, basically play your Destiny 2, your Call of Duty Modern Warfare, your uh, Paladins, or whatever it is that you want to play that is not playable on Steam OS. So that, uh, that worked out very well. I'm very pleased. We're going to plug this same drive in to the Basius's USB-A port 3.0, so it should be nice and fast, but will it be as fast as going through USB-C? It's hard to get my hands back here. There we go. All right. Ah, much better. Okay, so here we go. Now, this time, we are going to... Um, So let's go ahead and select the drive in question, and let's go ahead and get our disk mark. Okay, so you can see here our final score from the USB-A 3.0 port on the Basia stock. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and dismount the drive, and we're going to go ahead and plug it in through the USB-C port. Power it on. And we're going to take another benchmark directly plugged into the deck. Make sure that we still have this other drive chosen. Take a quick look. Those are our old specs. And here we go again. And we're done. And wow, I would say a considerable difference. So, yeah, there you go. Um, it's a lot faster being plugged into the USB-C port than it is to be plugged into a dock's usb a port. I guess we really shouldn't be surprised by that. Okay, so now one more test on this guy. As soon as I get my mouse back. We're going to boot to Windows using the USB-A port because I'm guessing that that's what a lot of people are going to want to do. You're going to want to have your mouse and your keyboard, everything else to use Windows with. All right. So now it's time for us to test our booting from Windows, booting to Windows with the USB-A port on the Basia stock. Again, we're looking for about 18 seconds. Ooh, I got that fun bit. Okay, well, uh, boot time was still pretty good. Yeah, I'd, I'd say it's uh, kind of negligible from a read standpoint. You might see something from the right point of view, but... Um, okay, we're going to go ahead and pull this drive out carefully. Oh, it's not that warm. thought it'd be warmer. And we'll put in our big monster Sabrent drive. All right, well now we're ready to run our disk mark against the Sabrent running from the USB-A port. And uh, let's see what we get. Okay, well, that is an interesting set of numbers. But we have one last test to do. Let's plug this guy directly into the USB-C port and see how she benches from there. Here are our numbers from the USB-C test. I had a battery die on the camera, so I didn't get to actually do it in progress, but these are the final numbers, so you can see that and compare and contrast. So what do I think? I think it's a decent product. It's certainly fast enough. It's tool-free approach is very, very cool. You don't have to have a fan. You don't have to have a case. You don't need a screwdriver. Easy in, easy out. If you got a ton of SSDs laying around, and most of us probably have one or two at least, this is a very convenient way of doing business. It's under 40 bucks, but that's still a little bit higher priced. You could get an enclosure for half of that or even less, but you're paying a little bit for the difference in design and the speed, I would imagine. So listen, uh, if you have the need for one of these guys, I can definitely recommend this one, but maybe you could find a cheaper alternative. That's it, I hope you enjoyed. If you like what you saw, hit the bell. Like, subscribe, you guys know what to do. I'm Shane Armonroe. Thanks so much for watching and take care. We'll see you next time.